and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a book call. I am a part of a couple Facebook groups and one of my groups, uh, somebody posted a picture with a bunch of books from Book Outlet. And honestly, not even gonna lie, I kind of forgot Book Outlet was a thing just because I don't ever find books. But I made the terrible life decision of getting on Book Outlet that night and I spent a lot of money. So I have a box from Book Outlet. And then I also have two books that I bought from Thrift Books. All of these books that are in this haul are going to be finishing off series that I already have on my shelves. So it's nothing new, it's just going to be finishing off the series. So without further ado, let's open our packages. Ta -da! Got my handy dandy scissors, and I'm gonna open my thrift books books first, and then we'll save the book outlet box for last. Cut, 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 cut. So this book is. Ooh, this book is bent. First of all, hold on. This is another day, another dolly by Sandra Orchard. And this is book two in the Serena Jones mystery series. I bought this book a while back from Thrift Books, and it ended up being an ARC, and they didn't have another one in stock to send me a finished copy, but I saw a couple weeks ago that they had it in stock again. I was like, I'll take the chance. Hopefully, they won't send me two ARCs in one go, and they didn't. It is an actual finished copy. So I'm so excited to finally finish this series on my shelf. The next book from Thrift Books, it is My Stubborn Heart by Becky Wade. And this is her only book that is a standalone. And this actually completes my collection of Becky Wade books until Sweet On You comes out in May, I believe. But I'm so excited to finally have this on my shelf so I can say that I have all of her books. All right, next is going to be the book outlet box. Let's open the box. Hey. Paper with all the books that I got. Paper. 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 The first book I got was Together Forever by Jodi Hedlund, and this is book two in her Orphan Train series. The next book I got is With You Always by Jodi Hedlund, which is the Orphan Train book one. So now I have the complete series, and I've heard amazing things about the series, so I'm very, very, very excited to read it and find out what all the hype is about. The next book I got was Chasing Secrets by Lynette Eason, and this is book four in her Elite Guardian series. I have book one and book three, and this is book four, and you could probably guess it, but I did get book two in the same haul, just so you know. Like I said, I got book two in the series, and this is Without Warning by Lynette Eason. The next book I have is Too Far Down by Mary Keneally, and this is book three in the Simran Legacy series. Then I have a, dang a Dangerous Legacy by Elizabeth Camden, and this is book one in a series thing she's doing. I'm not sure if it's technically come out to say that it's a series. The next book I got was Judah's Wife by Angela Hunt, and book three just came out, which was Jerusalem's Queen, and I need to get my hands on that. But for now, I will make do with the two that I have so that I can actually start them. The next book I have is The Heart Answers by Colleen Coble. It has a lot of books, but I would love to at some point collect all of Colleen Coble's books because she is amazing and I just love her so much. The next book is The Wounded Shadow by Patrick W. Carr, and this is book three in the Dark Water Saga. The next book I got is Luminary by Krista McGee, and this is book two, I believe. Yes, ha, it's right there. This is book two in the Anomaly Trilogy, and I'm very excited to finally have this complete series together because it's one of the prettiest series I've seen together on a shelf in a very long time, and also I've heard amazing things about it. So I'm excited to binge read it. And the last book I have is In Times Gone By by Tracy Peterson, and this is book three in her 
Golden Gate Secret series. I love Tracy Peterson so much and she's another author that I'm trying to get all of her books but it is slow going because she has so many. From Book Outlet I got 11 books and I'm so 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 excited. I have told my friend Jenna if you guys aren't subscribed to her well you should because she's amazing but I've been telling her I've been wanting to reorganize my bookshelves so bad but I knew this box was coming and I knew that I couldn't reorganize them until I had the books. So you better believe as soon as I'm done filming this, I am getting in my pajamas, first of all. Second of all, I'm reorganizing my bookshelves to add all of these beauties on to it. So I would love to know, have you guys gotten any books from Book Outlet? Do you guys, I know they had a sale recently for Boxing Day, I believe. Completely missed out on that but they have amazing prices. So is it something that you guys utilize often? Are you guys book outlet shoppers? Are you thrift book shoppers? Or do you prefer to go to a brick and mortar store and pay full price? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget you can follow my blog for the love of Christian fiction.blogspot.com and you can also check out my Instagram which is for the love of Christian fiction. You'll probably see quite a few of these books featured on my page because they are just so stinking gorgeous. All my other links are in the description box below, and I think that's it. I will see you guys later. Bye!